Good evening. Where is everybody? Hi, Helen. We've bookended. <laughs> We've bookended the day. <laughs> I know, lucky me. Ah, lucky me. <laughs> Hi, Gem, how are you doing? You all right? Good. Hi, Ali. Hi, Kat. Hello. Hi, Anita. Yeah. Karen, hello. hello. Lovely to see everybody. I think with us doing the morning sessions, I keep getting confused on the links. I think we're going to have to have the same link for morning and night because it's confusing my little brain. <laughs> Hi, Becky. <laughs> Um, oh, hello. <laughs> hello, my love. Are you all right? Yeah, good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I've been on the computer all day making a, a booklet about Ayurvedic herbs for winter. Yeah, I've been all creative in my creative vibe today, which has been lovely. Okay, so if you have got any eucalyptus oil, uh, actually not for you, Gemma. <laughs> Anybody else, if you've got any, uh, you might want to work with some lavender. Hi, Caroline. Um, if you do have eucalyptus, that's a good one. Or anything sort of pine or, you know, like <clears throat> minty. Hi, Karen. You all right? So we're going to go into a session of tonight for, well, like for winter and all that. Actually, today has been really lovely. I don't know if anyone... Has been out today it's been quite a nice day not quite the white frostiness that we had last week um but even so we are we are kind of heading careering in fact towards the shortest day of the year and um the winter solstice so <clears throat> i was talking this morning in our session about the dark this dark time of the year hi maggie um and how this can be like the time of the year, which can feel a bit like the dark night of the soul. It's like we're in, like we're plunged into the darkness for like quite a long period of every day. Um, so really in in um, the yogic practices, although we've got like a, like a few different aspects really, because we're in Vata season, which is all about air element and anxiety and blowing us off uh, off track. Our oh, high Debs. And um, so we've got all of this wind blowing, but then we've also, we're kind of also heading high Debs. Then we're also kind of heading down into winter, which is a time of slow and it's like a semi hibernation and as much as um, i was saying earlier on in my video as much as many of us would love to go in a cave for three four weeks now and just completely disappear <laughs> we're not allowed to because it's the bloody busiest time of the year so it's like it's such a paradox isn't it this time of year um so what i would invite is that we you know maybe can create these small pockets of time where we can winter so we can you know maybe have a little hi joy hi tracy some of the abifa crew in <laughs> um yeah so we can have these small periods of time that maybe you know we can create a, you know create a, just a cozy space like a big comfy chair where we can read a book for a little while have a hot chocolate or whatever and you know just pull away from the, the the sort of push of the of the season really so tonight i thought we'd work a little bit with um a yin class because we are actually also in new moon at the moment and new moon is also an invitation to cocoon so we've got these energies all inviting us into cocoon and come away from all the shopping madness and just cocoon in and soften down and chill out so we're going to have a nice session for those of you it's going to be yin based but if um you know if this doesn't work for your body then obviously you know do what your body needs so just allow yourself to be supported wherever you need to be and so we're going to begin with some eucalyptus oil a candle if you've got a candle to light 
while you're holding the poses, I'll offer a few contemplations while you are in there um, and try not to overcomplicate, but just add a few, a few little inspirations in there. And um, yeah, just checking in with that where you're at really with winter. And I mean, it's only something I've been like more consciously um, aware of the last couple of years, although many many years ago i used to always think like what is wrong with me at this time of year i always feel tired what is wrong with me um not really realizing that actually what's happening outside of me nature is happening inside of me so you know our body is naturally on a cellular level and beginning to um really want to hibernate so you know we're going to do a little bit of a hibernation session tonight <laughs> Open it for a bit. And um, so if you have got a candle, you might want to just light a light, um, candle for yourself. The thing is with also this dark part of the year, often what our brain needs is light. And so if you, um, if you have been um, a person who's maybe had an access to candle gazing or tratak <clears throat> in yoga, this is actually as effective as um, one of those daylight bulbs. You know, the light that, like those light um, uh, that emits light through the winter time. Well, apparently, gazing into a flame um, for you know a practice maybe 10, 15 minutes each day can really help the um, help the brain and all of the you know the wiring of the brain to to reconnect when we're going into that dark part of the year so it's a really nice practice um and we'll start with that actually if you've got a candle so if you do light your candle and just pop it in front so that your gaze can be soft and it can it can just rest onto onto the flame and one of the ways also, our eyes are really powerful. I'm getting my eyes tested tomorrow, actually. Um, my annual MOT. And um, our eyes are really powerful if we think about where our energy goes. So if we are feeling um, like overwhelmed and our energy is a bit scatty, we're all over the place, then turning our gaze down towards the earth can just just for a little while can really help our energy to ground and equally if we're feeling a bit low with this season and you know it's just making us feel a bit low and depressed and the moods down then actually taking the gaze upward for a little while each day can be really really helpful as well to lift you know just to lift up the mood as well so yeah a couple of little tips that you can work with you can use um yeah to help you with your mood and stuff so if you have got some eucalyptus not one to put near your eyes don't put, put it in your eyes it's not nice and also one that you probably wouldn't apply directly onto your skin so you want to have um you know, maybe some like a carrier oil, maybe some sesame or coconut oil to to dilute it a little bit or diffusers in the in the room are quite nice as well. So if you just bring your, you know, whether you smell it out the bottle, give a little swish to your feel. This is really good for refreshing your you know, energy as well. If we're feeling a bit dull, so we get that kind of dullness. Um, it's really damp like where we are at the moment it's like everything feels really heavy and damp so this is quite a nice a nice oil that will just lift off and the um oh, it is actually the oil of expansiveness so it allows us to kind of lift up out of that you know that kind of dampness of this this kind of transition point be between like when when it's late autumn and it's everything's wet and damp and where when it goes into the more dry bit where it gets all frosty and a bit crisp and a bit light which feel, always feels a bit better to me i don't i'm not keen on this bit here um so once you've done that we're going to take a what's called an energy balance this is another tip and it's easy to do and you can do it anywhere um, and I'm all for, for quick, easy things that we can do in this Vata season because the air element 
is the one element that will go off the quickest. It will blow off and we can feel, we can spiral into overwhelm and, um, you know, and stress and we've got all this stuff to do and we're planning and, you know, all over the place and then we end up procrastinating and doing nothing. So a few little tips for this time of the year. One of them is called this energy balance. So once you've brought your, um, you've got your oil through your field, we're going to bring your right hand, which is your masculine energy. We're going to bring your right hand and just place it over the center of your chest. So this is actually the, um, the, the place of the heart chakra, but it's also the place of the thymus gland, which is really associated deeply with our immune system. So this in itself, just placing your hand on your heart can begin to activate um, the immune cells, the little T cells to begin like little Pac-Men to kind of start flooding your system to really, you know, eat up and kind of get these, all these little viruses and nasty little bits that might be floating around our field. Left hand, your feminine energy, and this is going to go to the lower belly, just around the the navel or just below. So just around that point. So you've got your right hand on your heart and your left hand is going to come down onto your lower belly. So once you've got your hands in place and it feels nice, if you're sitting on the floor or on a chair, we're just going to sit up nice and tall. So just want you to extend your spine a little bit so that you just feel that your chest opens. And you can just let your gaze rest into the candle flame if you've got one. Again, if you haven't got one, don't worry, you can just close your eyes. And then we'll just connect into our breath. So if you want to close down then your eyes or just let your gaze gaze rest for a moment into the flame then I just begin to absorb the flame observing to start with and then also just allowing your breath to gently soften and just begin to slow down So that we begin to activate the body's natural tranquilizers that begin to, again, just invite our body to slow down. Just notice for a couple of moments the flame, notice the quality of the flame. Colour, the softness. And then as you breathe, just take that breath a bit deeper down into the belly. And just allowing them to just imprint. And then you might want to just close your eyes. It's just as if you begin to draw the flame inward. And you might find that there is an imprint now into the center of your forehead area. So you might feel us be able to see it. An imprint of the flame. Just allowing your focus to land there. And then just allow as if each out breath begins to draw your weight down. Once that imprint disappears, it's going to open your eyes again. Again, just let your eyes rest into the flame. It's just as if you're breathing that light in, drawing it towards you, filling your cells. Filling your whole body, brain, your eyes with light. At the same time, you hold the mudra, the energy balance, and slow down the breath. You're also beginning to calm your body, 
calm your mind, ground your energy. Let's just deepen your breath, just slow it down, make it slower. And once you've lost the imprint inside, then you just open the eyes again, just gather the flame in your eyes again. You might notice you might feel a bit warm. You need to build a little heat in the body. Once you feel that you've gathered the light, you can close the eyes as if you just draw that light inside. And with your breath, just guide it around through the body, through the cells of the body, organs of the body, down into the belly, into the chest. Feeling the base of the body again, just bringing the awareness down <clears throat> to that connection with the ground. Imagine you've got a root going down and any old energy, any stagnant energy, you can just begin through the out breath to release it down through that root. So anything that's been hanging around from your day any attachments to the day just let it begin to release through the root but we don't take that into our practice so much as we just let it release here in this present moment so each out breath releasing and then each in-breath, just drawing in that fresh light, light of nourishment. As we drop into our lovely space of sacred rest tonight. And then you might like to set an intention for your practice. Maybe it's just to restore your energy if you've been very busy. It might be that you felt anxious, stressed with this vast season. Maybe a bit of worry. And just let all of that dissolve and release down through your roots. Just let Mama Earth take it. And just really setting a lovely intention to really nourish and rebuild, recharge our energy tonight. So just taking three slow, deep breaths. And then we'll just arrive back. into our space and if you're ready all right so we're going to move slowly onto our onto our mat 
and um, our bed. So wherever wherever you've got to be, um, and you might want a bolster. And if you don't have a bolster, like a couple of pillows or a cushion, cushions will will work really well. Also. Right, good. So we'll just start with a little bit of sassy cat. So if you come down to start with on to all fours. And we might actually even use the bolster for this as well. So if you've got a bolster, um, we'll pop that to the front of the mat. Let's bring my mic over here actually as well. And we'll just have a little bit of um, hair by using our bolster. We're going to just lean onto that so that we just take the knees um, hip width apart underneath your uh, hips. Put my light on actually, but it'll be a little bit brighter. Like that. Right. Okay. So coming on to your knees, knees hit width apart. I'm going to just lean onto your your bolster. So we're going to take any pressure off of the the wrists there, and we're just going to move into a little bit of sassy cat. So I just want you to just gently move your hips, maybe from side to side, maybe even in like a figure of eight, but just really releasing off any tension around the lower back. And you could even make circles, drawing the navel back towards the spine. And then maybe maybe moving a little just side to side, releasing out the rib cage area. And and maybe even bringing that movement over into the shoulder blades as well. So just relieving any tension. You've been sitting at desk. I've been sitting at my desk all day today, so I'm really feeling that in my shoulders tonight. Anybody else who might have been you us today? Just giving everything a nice stretch and release Just in a way that feels good. If you want to drop back into like um, an extended um, child's pose as well so just let your body lead you so we just start to tap into that body wisdom and let your body do what it needs just nice and slow so everything is slow and slow everything down which really helps us to get off into like a, a really nice restful sleep when we do get to bed Alright, so once you've had a nice stretch out through cat, we're going to um, release your bolster off. Give it a push off, off to the side. And our first posture tonight is actually going to be um, butterfly pose. But and I'm just going to start off with a little release off the shoulders as well. So if you want to bring the soles of the feet together, if you've got any issues with hips or um, any like hypermobility in the hips, you might want to use a bolster underneath your knees for this bit. So just give you, you know, give your hips the support that you need. And then we're just going to begin by just giving your shoulders a little roll. So just rolling the shoulders, alternate shoulders. And maybe give them a little little shuggle as well, just to release off any tension. You might even want to give them a massage as well, but just letting any tension drop away. Shoulders. And then also maybe just circle the head as well, just to loosen up the neck, any tension. And as you circle, Again, you might just go nice and slow, just explore and feel into your neck. Feel it into the outer areas that might feel tight. I always find it quite interesting with the neck that you can move it in certain different directions 
and feel like down a bit lower in the back, you can sometimes feel that pull. Feel that everything is connected there. So if our neck is really tight, then often our back muscles are tight as well. Good. And then from here, we're going to drop into this pose in a really lovely uh, supported way. So we can either have bolster underneath the knees. You can have a, the bolster maybe even over the feet, which is quite nice as well. So you can just rest then in on the elbows. You might rest your head there. But what I like about this pose is the stretch on the neck because it's so um, great for these um, nerves in the back of the neck that come up into the brain stem. So really good to bring some fresh blood flow to to that area of the of the body. So as you release in, letting the head drop forwards. Again, the principles of lit yin, and to find that place where it's like a or like a goldilocks position so it's where you can feel something going on but you're not so deep into it they can't breathe um you find a place where it feels doable it might feel a little discomfort but it shouldn't feel painful and then you drop in the breath Again, just nourishing breath. And then we hold for a little bit of time. As we drop into this space, this inward space of winter, wintering. And this is a lovely place where we can find that peaceful sense of us. Take time to build this like peace sense. Then we have a lovely place to return to whenever life is getting really busy through this festive season. Beginning to move a little deeper into the tissues of the body now. Into the tendons and the ligaments. Fashion. You might even feel your body beginning to let go. Gentle flow of the breath. As I embrace the stillness and find peace within. I embrace the stillness and find peace. Allowing your focus to rest with your breath. Notice if your mind is going off wandering. Just bring your focus back to just following that flow of breath in and following the breath out. We 
taking your last three breaths there. And releasing the last breath through the mouth with maybe a sigh. I'm going to very gently release, walking our way out. So again, we've stressed the, the tissues of the body. So we want to come out nice and slow because we're cultivating that, um, that balance, that peace inside. So just bringing the knees in gently again, just moving the body really slow. We can lean back onto the hands, just at the feet out a little wider and we'll just windshield wipe the hip side to side just to release and it might feel a bit sometimes feels a bit like you've broken a bit when you come out of this pose you can feel a bit broken but we're not broken we've just created a little more space actually for that energy to move into into if if you, if you can and if the legs will allow into a cross-legged position i just want to add a little twist here so i'm just going to gently twist towards the right just right hand to the back left hand onto the right knee and then we're going to twist to the left right hand onto the left knee left hand behind again we're going to twist to the right And this is uh, another forward bend, again, another lovely posture that builds this, um, this sense of pratyahara, this turning the senses inward, bringing our senses inward, which is what winter is really inviting us to do. So the legs are going to be apart. And this is a forward bend. So there's a couple of different variations. You can use a bolster here to give you a little bit of support. <coughs> a gemma probably will need to do this. So the forehead is going to rest onto the bolster so that you've just got that gentle draw forwards without completely compressing into the belly. The other option is to have the bolster over the sides, which again is very grounding. So you can place the bolster onto the sides and then gently hook your arms over so that you are drawn forwards over the bolster. Or the last option is not to use the bolster at all and just softly move into a nice forward bend that kind of feels um, relaxed. And just allowing yourself to drop in. And then once you've found that place that works for you, we then begin to connect into the breath. And this posture in particular is really lovely for the nervous system. And again, this is the part of um, the body that is very much taxed through any like busy times in our lives, any stressful times in our lives. Just feel that gentle draw through the spine. And the shoulders can relax there. Because of the nature of the pose, because we're in this forward bend, we're getting that natural compression on the organs inside, so the liver and the spleen and the digestive system, the heart, the lungs, all getting that compression. 
And wherever there's a compression, it means that the body can, um, it's kind of squeezing all of the old blood away from those organs. And then when it is released, then all of that area is flooded with fresh blood and, and fresh energy. It's a lovely, refreshing posture for the system. Feeling them. A lovely affirmation with this posture. I nurture my inner self and embrace the journey within. I nurture my inner self and embrace the journey within. You can, if you find that your mind begins to wander in this pose, you can get back to just follow the breath. Breath might be a little bit compressed because of the because of the nature of the posture. And just following this slow out breath. I always find that that. Um, myself anyway when I slow my breath down it kind of like it brings me back home to myself to that part of me that knows that I am calm at all times that my natural essence is actually calm And taking the last three breaths there, and again, just letting that last breath release with a sigh through the mouth. And then slowly, slowly walking out. And again, just really slow with this out of the pose. And I'm going to come straight over again, just back into that. So just going over onto all fours. Hands are going to come below the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. So again, just gently circle out around into cat as well. release off the vertebra good and then from here I'm just going to come down into sphinx pose so just flatten the belly down elbows Going to come underneath the shoulders and the legs again you can feel into this a bit so you might want the legs to be a bit wider you might want them to be about hip width apart um you might have the heels dropping gently away and um, from the sides if you're finding that that is too much on the lower back you may like to bring the arms down a little bit and maybe just make it Hello, with your hands, and um, you can also use your bolster there as well. So from here, again, once you're there, we're just going to let the head drop a little as well, so we get that stretch again to the back of the neck. And again, really connecting in to the breath, and just feeling the hips, and the pelvis, and the belly that are in contact with the earth. So again, we've got this beautiful grounding effect with this posture. This pose also gently um, massages the lower back area. 
hands, the kidneys, get that massage. And if you just feel into that area, as you breathe, the breath is pushed from the belly into the back body. So the kidneys get that gentle massage as well. And also the digestive system gets a nice massage too, the liver and the spleen. So this posture really replenishes the water element in the body as well. It helps us to restore and rejuvenate. And wherever we've been giving out lots of energy. I was just going to really invite us to call our energy back and begin to conserve, be like to be conserved. Maintaining that contact the, the navel and the floor. Just feeling that gentle pressure as you breathe. The breath pushed back towards the kidney. An affirmation with this pose. Embrace the wisdom comes with stillness. Embrace the wisdom comes with stillness. Taking your last three breaths there. Again, releasing the last breath gently through the mouth. And then just letting your elbows come out to the sides. Make a pillow with your hands and just rest your chin. Put your head onto one side. And just allow your body just to rebound in this pose, this gentle rebound of energy as you release it. The next pose, sorry, is the and so lift up and there's a couple of different variations here. So if we take the knees wide and the big toes together, got a bit of space 
belly from between the thighs. And if you've been on computers today and your shoulders are really tight, you might want to just drop into the bolster. So you might have the bolster extended out a little so that you can just drop a little more into like that shoulder to release those shoulders between the shoulder blades. Try that. Or um, just extending the arms out. If it's more of an ancestral, not really a typical child, I suppose it's more of an ancestral um, posture. So the arms extend out, the, the chest or forehead hits the floor, and the belly drops to the side. Again, this lovely stretch across the upper back between the shoulder blades. Push it in there. Put it all settled in. And just reconnect, re-establish the fly. Again, just following the breath gently in and out of the body. Just allowing or inviting the body to sit there. The affirmation with this posture, I welcome rest and renewal in my life. I welcome rest and renewal into my life. So taking your last three breaths there. Gently, gently release out of the pose. Gently walk away. And then gently release our knees. And again, you might just have a little, little windshield wiper just side to side to release off the hips and the knees. Now, we're going to finish tonight in um, legs up the wall or legs on a chair, legs on the bed, whatever you've got available there. Legs onto the bolster will work. It's just so that your legs are elevated a little bit higher than your heart. So if you um, have got access to like a flat wall or a sofa or a bed or a chair will work as well. I just want to take the legs a little bit higher than the heart if we can. So I've just got mine on a ball. But I've got my tips in. And then the arms can be 
away from the body with a bit of space underneath the armpit so that the um, lymphatic system can do its work. I'm just tucking the chin in so I've not, not got any um, sort of squashing in the neck. And then once you've found that nice gentle place of restore, and again, just reconnecting to the breath. Slowing everything down even more. Let our knowledge, oh Lord, be changed to light and fill our hearts with love. Oh, 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 oh Shanti. Reading is called Winter's Wisdom. In winter's gentle stillness, where quiet whispers reign, the world is wrapped in silence, a time to heal and gain. Beneath the snow's soft blanket, the earth prepares in, in darkness seeds find solace, as we must also do. Simplify and shed the old. Embrace what's truly true. But in the heart of winter, there's wisdom born. Last couple of moments in this posture. What aspects of my life can I simplify to create more space for what truly matters? What aspects of my life can I simplify to create more space for what truly matters? Taking your last three breaths there. I'm going to very slowly come into our Shavasana. Now you might want to stay where you are and that's completely okay. Just feel into where you want to be for your relaxation. Just letting your body settle now. This is the most important part. This is the bit where your body gets to really, really um, move the energy that you've cultivated. Once you're settled, you might want to come back to the um, 
the energy balance. Or maybe just have your hands on your lower belly. Just connecting into the, the womb. Or maybe have one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. So just whatever feels good really for you. And just allowing the breath to be steady. And just bring into your mind that um, quality of life. Imagining that with each breath, you begin to draw in particles of light through the breath into the body. As you breathe, release the breath. I'm going to guide that breath, that light through the system, through the body. Just drawing that light in with the next in-breath. As you breathe out, just imagine that you guide particles of light down through the feet and toes into the ankles. Relaxing feet. Guiding particles of light down through the lower leg, shins, calves, and knees. Lower legs, just feel that gentle flow of light energy. Rejuvenating, but equally relaxing. Not light energy through the knees. And the Thighs, to the hips, the pelvis. Relax in the legs. The hips, the pelvis. Draw that light into the lower back. Plus deep muscles of the lower back, kidneys, spine, through the mid back, shoulder blade, the whole length of the spine is filled with this beautiful light energy, like particles of light dancing through the whole of the spine. energy flows across the shoulders now, the shoulder joints, the arms and the elbows, forearms and wrists, hands and fingers. Arms become a little heavier and more relaxed. Particles of dancing light fill the whole abdominal space, the low belly, light dances around the rib cage, through the chest, the heart, the lungs. So vitalizing all of the internal organs, the vital organs that work so hard to keep alive. Light flows through the neck, through the jaw, across the teeth. Cooling in the eyes, eyes filling with light. Forehead, scalp, brain. With light, light of inspiration. Feeling the body now as if it is surrounded by a beautiful light glow. Just really feel it into the sense that your body is recharging, like it's plugged into a source of light that is all around us at all times. The 
every breath draws in more light. Healing light, this beautiful flow of prana, flow of well being that we are always putting. Beginning to gently deepen your breath. You might like to bring a little bit more movement. Into your toes. Maybe having a stretch if it feels good. Maybe a little rock side to side. Maybe even curling up in a little ball to one side. Moment on one side, just feeling you, just holding you in that coziness, coziness of winter. She's in between worlds right now. A part of her is leaving, but it's not like before. She's holding space this time, not sweating it, but breathing beyond her skin. She's good. She's even shape-shifting, the raven, the owl. She's unafraid of the bird's eye view. And unlike all those other times, she isn't scared of the unknown. She's present and neither timid nor bold. It feels beautiful like a song of a blackbird and powerful like the rumble of an avalanche. So when you are ready, just bringing yourselves back to a seated position. Or if you're in bed, then just pull up the covers and turn up the light. <laughs> Bring your palms together. And create a little heat in your hands and then you can just gently cup your palms over your eyes and again just let your eyes rest into the warmth of your hands and then just for the last couple of moments just using your fingertips to gently massage over your face your beautiful face your head your neck, your shoulders. And just give yourself a little bit of attention and just call back a little bit of that attention that you give so freely to everybody else. And then bringing your hands into prayer position at your heart for a moment. And you might like to bring to your mind just something that was beautiful that happened today, something that made you smile, something that you were grateful for. And allow that gratitude to bring forward a beautiful inner smile from your heart. And let that smile radiate from your heart to your face and to your eyes. And as you open your eyes back into your candle flame, 
back into our space and back into the rest of your beautiful evening. Namaste. Beautiful. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Going to blow you all a little bit of light, a little bit of love. Have a lovely, lovely, restful sleep, everybody, I hope. And um, I shall see you all next week. Some of you on Wednesday, some of you on Friday. And uh, yeah, have a great week and uh, I will see you soon. Loads of love. Bye, bye.